Lando almost knocked out of Q1, and then P6 at the end of it. We planned that. You like to make it challenging for yourself, Yeah, we just you? like to look like we're on the edge and then boom. <laughs> Where did that pace come from? Um, it's just the conditions. I don't think we were necessarily that quick today. It's just uh, these conditions I enjoy. You know, I've always performed well in these conditions. Um, a little bit like Russia last year or the year before. I don't know what. I forgot already, but um, uh, when it's like wet, you're on slicks, qualifying Q3, like you've got to take risk, but you also don't want to take too much. And it's such a fine line between uh, being in the wall and, uh, and completing a good lap, you know, so it's, um, it's so tough, but uh, a bit rewarding at the same time. And today was rewarding. So uh, P6 was very good. Given the pace offset then because of the conditions, is it going to be more just trying to keep everyone behind you tomorrow? Mm hmm. What kind of track is this in terms of, I know it's difficult to overtake, what can yeah. you expect? Um, I mean, I hope it's the most difficult race ever in the history of Formula 1 to overtake. Uh, that would be a, a good race for me tomorrow, so... Uh, we'll, uh, I, I, I have no idea, I have no idea. Um, I've not done much following at all, so I don't know if it's going to be a lot better. It's always tough to overtake, it still is going to be difficult to overtake. There's only one overtaking opportunity here, so... Uh, yeah, I doubt I'm going to be looking at cars ahead. Hopefully I'm just looking at some empty track and um, I'll be happy with that. All right.